Neil, your granddad cut tracks around here. Your mum and dad are on it up at the lighthouse for all the work they've done. You yourself, your whole career has been spent around here. You must feel really, what, connected to this land, eh? Yeah, I'm part of the country, mate. Love it here. Yeah. Uh, and why not? Look, it's immaculate. It's paradise, as you've mentioned earlier. It's just one of those things that uh, when you have so many people coming and saying, man, this place is awesome, why would you want to leave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> like those guys. <laughs> that just reinforces it, really. But look, you know, the, the, the lark itself. Now, I've got a special relationship with my truck because I've had it 20 years and I know every nut and bolt on it. I kind of get the feeling you're the same with this, aren't you? Yeah, you, mate. You bought this, you and your parents bought it when you were 21. Yeah, 1994. 1994. So it's been a long relationship for you and you do all the work yourself. Yeah, yeah, I have offsiders. Uh, occasionally I have mechanics, the you know, staff sort of come and go. I've got a great team with me and uh, we basically love what we do, passionate about the environment and that's what we do. We show, showcase the environment. You're passionate about the lark? And the lark itself, like nothing comes close to it, you know. Lark, what's it stand for? Okay, well, you can see on the dash there, built by the US Army, Lark 5. It's yep. the baby model and it, the word lark is an acronym. Yep. So it stands for lighter amphibious resupply cargo. So it's not really built to house a bunch of guns or anything, it's just built to get in and out and do its job, restock people. Well, they the did see active service. Uh, yeah, I've talked to a few vets um, and it's really interesting to hear various stories of where they encountered them, uh, largely for unloading ships. Uh, the five tonners were unloading the ammunition. Yep. The 15 tonners, because there's three models, uh, they were load unloading the self propelled grenades, mortars and so on and the 60 tonners were on the heavy artillery sort of stuff. So I saw a beautiful photo you had there somewhere of a 60 tonner unloading a five tonner. Yeah the fives driving around. <laughs> yeah. That looked really cool. They're mighty bit of gear. Um, unfortunately a lot of amazing uh, developments yeah. in technology come from war but uh, this yeah. one here at least yeah. we're putting it to yeah. good use and having fun with it mate. Oh aren't you ever but look yeah. you know just just for the mechanical nuts amongst us and I'm one of them Cummins V8 up the back. That's right. Naturally, ancient, yeah. ancient, ancient but naturally aspirated. aspirated. Sounds beautiful. And then the drive comes down to the centre into a, a transfer transmission, transfer which has got high, low, and marine. And that drives back to the propeller and into a dip centre. Right. And that splits out more right angle drives, more right angle drives, and eventually a reduction hub, three, reduction three and a half, uh, 3.5 is to one reduction. Maximum speed on land? Uh, it depends. We cruise at 25 k's an hour. If yeah. you had someone chasing me with a gun, you'd probably get 40 mile an hour. Whoa, yeah, but maybe not for, <laughs> for a little while, yeah. And then in the water? Uh, five knots is what we cruise at. And so. it goes anywhere. It's just beautiful. It climbs better than a four-wheel drive. Yeah, well, straight up the face of that headland right there behind us. You know? Okay, what'd you have your tyre pressure set at? That's the question. Uh, okay, so it, it's changed. We used to have uh, balloon sand tyres yeah. on. Uh, we're on crane tyres now, so they run slightly higher pressure. Yeah. And uh, we get 30 in the front and 35 in the back. Okay. We used to run 20, 25. 